gross. You're gay and you're going to hell. My little six-year-old eyes looked up at the church missionary and my heart broke. Now at six years old, I didn't know what gay was, but I did know that hell was a bad place to go where God sent those who he did not accept. So the traumatic message that I got that shaped my journey at six years old was that I was unacceptable by the one who accepts everyone. That journey continued and I was broken. I was dilapidated. Sure, I tried to hide myself in religious religiosities. I sang in the choir. I even preached messages. In fact, the church loved to hate me. They used my gifts, but they hated my person. So at nine years old, I tried to commit suicide. Childhood bullying, religious bullying, family bullying, continued and was only proof that I was not acceptable and I was unwanted. So at 14 years old, I tried to commit suicide. My journey continued and self-sabotage became my portion. And at 18, I tried to commit suicide. But one day, I decided enough was enough. I looked myself in the mirror with all of my flaws, idiosyncrasies, downfalls, highs and lows, and said, I like me. Then the healing began. Then the reconciliation began, but I had to first accept myself, despite what culture said, despite what church said, despite what that missionary said. So the day you look in the mirror and decide that you are enough is the day you can declare, I like me. I am Dr. Glover, and thank you for your time.